1942 hockey jersey may not be familiar to you, but it certainly has historic significance. It came from the United States Coast Guard Cutters, and this was a team that won two straight championships during World War II. And it's particularly noteworthy for Ranger fans because a couple of blue shirts actually played for the Coast Guard Cutters. And one of them happened to be Art Coulter. He was captain of the Ranger team in 1940 when the Blue Shirts won the Stanley Cup. He was the captain of the Coast Guard team. And a defenseman on the Cutters actually played defense for the Rangers after the war. That was Bob Dill. And a local boy, Mike Nardello, he came from Brooklyn, played high school hockey in Brooklyn. Then he went to the Met League and he played for them and eventually wound up with the New York Rovers, the Rangers farm team. And had it not been for the war, who knows, Mike Nardello might have been a Ranger as well. And there are a lot of other NHL players on the Cutters. Johnny Mariucci of the Chicago Blackhawks, Alex Motto of the Detroit Red Wings. And they frequently came to the Garden, this Coast Guard team. They'd play the Rovers. And whenever they came, they brought their 30-piece marching band. And they'd sit in the corner of the end arena at the Old Garden. When the Coast Guard scored, they'd play the marching song, Semper Paratus. Well, Garden fans loved them. In fact, they nicknamed them Hooligans Navy because they loved to play rough, tough hockey. And everybody wanted to see more of the Cutters, but it wasn't to be, because in 1944, with World War II at its height, all of the members of that hockey team had to go overseas and serve. And the theme of the Coast Guard has always been Semper Paratus. And so it was, on the ice or on the ship.